channel. In this video, I will tell you everything about emergency generator room. I will cover the emergency generator, auto start, manual start, uh, your connections between uh, main switchboard, emergency switchboard, what are the items which are there in emergency generator room, what other equipments, things are there in emergency generator room. So stay connected and I will give you a short emergency generator room tour. What equipment are there which are connected with emergency switchboard? Emergency switchboard is an item which helps us in case of emergency. If there is a failure with our main generators, uh, our emergency generator come on load and feed all the uh, emergency equipment which we need to run our ship. So uh, this plays a very important role on ship because uh, in case of emergency, this room becomes uh, a source of energy for the ship and it provides energy to all of the equipment to run on the ship. See, when our main generator fails, uh, our emergency generator come on load and uh, give 440 volt to our emergency switchboard. 440 voltage will get converted to 220 with the help of this transformer and uh, thereby uh, will give feed to other 220 equipments which are basically our navigation equipments, uh, lightings and everything which are connected with 220. We need uh, those 220 equipment to run. So 220 plays a very important role, 220 and 440. 440 basically we need to run our heavy machineries like motor pumps and 220 is our uh, maybe GMDSS equipment, our telephone, uh, our alarm systems and our battery chargers means uh, those plays a very important role for communication and other things. So 220 and 440, they both are important. So we need one transformer. In 220 feeder panel, basically you will find uh, all your GMDSS equipment, uh, control equipment which are connected with the control system which is connected with the cargo control room, uh, bridge equipment, your fire direction system and your hyperMS system. Also, all these uh, equipment are connected with 220. O forty 440 uh, basically feed to our steering power, emergency fire pump, uh, for, uh, for uh, deck fire fighting we need foam pump and then hypermiss pumps. So basically all big motors which we need in case of emergency, in case of fire or in case if there is a blackout or the failure of main generator, we need to start that main generator. So we need uh, air compressor to run. Steering, we need to uh, give direction to the ship. So we need steering gear, hyper mist to fight with the engine fire, uh, foam, foam pump to fight deck fire. So all these equipments are connected with 440 feeder panel. So guys, I'll start with sore connection box side. Sore connection is required when we go in dry dock. When ship goes in dry dock, we need this shore power connection because uh, our ship uh, will not be floating in water. So uh, it will be standing on uh, wooden blocks, big blocks since we are not floating in the water. So there will not be a cooling medium to cool our generator because our generators are uh, cooled with our sea water. So if there is no water, generator will not cool and it will give alarm and then it will shut down. So uh, we take shore power. So, suppose if we go for dry dock, wire will come to this shore connection box and we will go to shore. So, we have a meter over here to read how much consumption we have done on ship. So, they charge us as per our reading. Uh, most of the time they will have a separate meter also. So, uh, they will go through with that also or they can cross check with this also. Uh, they can uh, charge the electricity bill which is consumed by this ship. Before giving shore power to this panel, we must make sure that our emergency switchboard is dead and there is no voltage in bus bar. This side you can see shore connection panel is there for 43 phase 60 hertz 400 amp kilowatt meter over here. This is for phase sequence. 
the breaker breaker for it i will open it this is the breaker this is the breaker of it so down you can see um uh, rst so you have to connect um uh, your free phase over here and connect this breaker right now you can see the breaker is off you can see the acb which is from main switchboard bus tie panel this side you will find emergency generator panel frequency meter voltmeter kilowatt and current meter insulation meter some group alarm unit is there uh, if there is any abnormality with acb low insulation or something uh, we'll get the alarm this switch is for acb opening and closing this switch is to select your uh, current reading for different phases this is voltmeter voltmeter and frequency meter this will be always on coolant heater and space heater for emergency generator below you will find a acb one acb is there to disconnect with the main switchboard to emergency switchboard and the other one is uh, emergency generator to connect with acb uh, we have one acb which connect our main switchboard to emergency switchboard and one we have one breaker which connect our emergency generator to our emergency switchboard so this is the breaker this this breaker is inside this panel and this is the acb so if you want to uh, if you want to test the auto function of emergency generator so that it comes on loan within 45 second you have to disconnect this right now this is connected so this panel is getting power from main switchboard if you want to test the emergency generator uh, it's auto start so that it comes in 45 second you have to disconnect this acb first so our control circuit will automatically sense that there is no voltage in our main switchboard and it gives signals to uh, start this emergency generator so our emergency generator start and comes on loan within 45 second and give power to all our emergency equipment guys i will show you the emergency generator breaker so guys you can see this is our uh, acb which connect our main switchboard to emergency switchboard and this this is the air circuit breaker which connect our emergency generator to emergency switchboard so right now you can see green off signal when it it is connected uh, it gives red signal which is on so the two breaker behind you can see uh, the bus bars the stripe big stripe which is going to our bus bar this side you will find a for 40 meter panel and you will see plenty of breakers are there which are getting getting connected with all the emergency equipment like you can see you need a transformer to convert your 44220 then steering gear supply you need in emergency battery charger steering gear number 2 co2 all these items are emergency items so they should get power all each and every time main air compressor to start your uh, generator and main engine breathing air compressor your uh, horn system liquid pump for fire fighting emergency fire pump fire fighting uh, set of two gen generator loop hole firing pump because this is the interlock you have to run these pumps then only the generator will get start this is what hypermiss system for fire fighting live boat david bws compactor and a booster pump suppose if there is a fire in engine room also you need all this to fight with the fire and everything you have one uh, blower connected with uh, your emergency board number one number four blower this side you will find 220 meter panel you will see a volt meter insulation meter and a current meter our clamp test the all important machinery or equipment which needs power in case of emergency are connected over here you can see steering gear on our fire action system radio gmdss set c this 
this side you will find one DA compressor. This is the starter for it. This is a procedure laminated over here. This is the DO tank for emergency. You have a quick closing valve which is operated from outside. Cut this valve so that emergency generator will get stopped. This line is connected directly with the your emergency generator. This is your emergency generator. Uh, you can see it very clearly. We have two modes of starting uh, battery starting and uh, spring uh, starting. So, spring starting is there. You have to charge it. You have to connect this handle over here and then charge it. Then charge it. Turn it clockwise so that this this green this green color marking should come in red. You can put this lever down so that it will give a jerk. Initial RPM it is required uh, to start the engine. So this gives initial RPM. Uh, this is the parameter panel. You will get a tachometer, tacho hour meter, and then low boil temperature, water temperature, DC volt, and low boil pressures over here. This is this is basically your radiator, and you have to see whether your uh, coolant is proper or not. The level should be maintained. This is your exhaust pipe. This is going outside. Okay. This is that your that is your uh, emergency auto start control panel. This emergency generator is uh, always in auto mode. This is this part is your alternator part. This part is your engine part. When this rotate, it produces energy, 440 volt, and through the wire, it goes to through the wire, it goes to this panel. Once the ACB is connected, the breaker for this is connected. Uh, you get the power over here. This is the battery bank. You can see uh, 12 volt. Two sets of batteries are there. And the charger over here. Okay. We have one transformer over here to convert your 440 to 220. And this is your auto start control panel. You have, uh, you will get all the generator alarm also, low volume pressure. Cooling fresh water, high temperature, over speed, all these alarm, start stop button, lamp test button, emergency stop, to put generator in auto or manual switches, cautions, and how to start generator is clearly mentioned. This side I will show you the, from our battery bank, a wire is coming straight away, to the battery switch. If there is a need of maintenance, you can disconnect also. We have a battery switch over here. So from the battery, you are getting a wire straight away through this motor. This motor will basically drive your engine. So it gives initial RPM so that engine uh, engine firing starts and it uh, it then goes to its rated RPM. So with battery, with battery, this motor helps to start it. Oh, these are filters. This is the exhaust pipe going outside. That side you will find one fire extinguisher CO2. So, guys, this is the emergency generator, and you will find this common uh, things in emergency generator room. You will find also the manual call point. On telephone with headphone, bells are there. I wash and safety items, insulation mat, oh guys. We have a PA speaker over here so that if there is any announcement or uh, any emergency we get any uh, we get the alarm 
as well as uh, any information if there is passed from the bridge we can hear it we have two pa speaker one over there and one you can see this side guys on every ship you will find a, a with photograph you will find a procedure how to run uh, the generator in manual starting and uh, your spring starting so this is clearly laminated and posted over here if someone doesn't know how to start it you can see all spring starting and every all procedures are mentioned over here so you can go through this uh, starting procedure and if anyone can start it if he's a little bit familiar also he can start it very clearly back side i will show you back side is very clear so that you can work and the rubber mat is there as soon as our emergency generator detects that there is a no voltage in this uh, main switch board and emergency switch board it gets start and come on load this hap this all happen in within 45 seconds and it give power to all those 440 and 220 feeder panels which are connected over here guys uh, we cannot uh, parallel our emergency generator with our main generator because both are having different specification different kva rating so uh, our main generators are meant for uh, higher ratings compared to our emergency generator so they both cannot be parallel so guys uh, i hope you have got some idea uh, about emergency generator room and uh, what are things are required uh, we as a sailor we must know our emergency generator room because in case of emergency this is going to help us a lot so i will end up this video so guys do write in the comment if you want to know the wiring diagram uh, which is which connect all your contactor timer and everything which help us to bring this emergency generator and put on load in 45 seconds so if you want to know the wiring diagram of it uh, please write in the comment so i will cover that part in in a different video so guys uh, i hope you have uh, liked the video we'll see you in next video till then bye bye